Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Footy Vlogs. I hope you had a good Christmas and a Happy New Year to everybody. We're into January now and uh, doing this video today is on Bohemians and the headline says, is Bohemians transfer recruitment a mess? Um, might be a little bit harsh. It's up to people to, and Bose fans in particular, to make their decision, if you like, on that. But I just try to talk, go through a couple of things regarding Bohemians Football Club or Bohemian Football Club, I should say. Um, obviously we're in January, you know, we're in, what is it, the 7th today when I'm doing this video, the 7th of January, and first of all I'll say that there'll be signings for Bowes very soon, very soon, they're going to be making a raft of signings very soon, I think I put up, that up on Twitter, um, the question is, who are these players going to be, how good are they going to be, um, are they likely to be loans? One or two. Are they likely to be players that were on trial? One or two. After that, I'm not really too sure. Now, why are they in this situation? You know, why have... And this is, I'm putting myself in a Bose fan perspective really here as well. Why have Shells made all their signs very early? Why have Pats made all their signs very early? Why have an awful lot of other clubs made their signings early? Well, I think first and foremost, the thing that Bowles are definitely struggling with, and this has nothing got to do with their recruitment process, this part of it really, is the fact that they haven't qualified for Europe for a couple of seasons. It's a major stumbling block to try and persuade players to come to the club. They tried to get quite a number of players to come to the club within the League of Ireland as such, um, but basically failed because clubs like Shelburne, for example, Pats in particular, them two in particular, in around Dublin, of course, have qualified for Europe. Now, Pats have done it for a couple of seasons now. Derry have done it for a couple of seasons. And obviously, Shamrock Rovers as well. Shells, on the other hand, are just after sneaking in there. But it was a massive thing this season with the lure of Damien Duff as well. It does play a part. And Bowles have actually struggled to bring in players for that reason alone. So, in a sense, you can't uh, blame the recruitment team, etc. in that scenario. However... um. They've taken a long time to get players in. As I said, as I speak, they haven't got any of those players in that I was kind of mentioned. They've signed Dale Rooney, of course, and dropped it, who I think is a good signing. And Rob Cornwall has come back from the States to join up with Bowles, something that Bowles have done a lot in the last couple of years, bring some old players back. Uh, I think Rob will probably help bring a bit of leadership and a bit of stability to that defence that was really poor last year as well. I think Bowles have lost players as well that, okay, one or two, they might kind of go you're not happy with but they've lost players that um were poor signings last year as well if i'm honest with you i don't think casper was good enough i don't think norwick was good enough john o'sullivan and Bowles fans don't need an explanation there do they but they can point out and say well that was part of the last recruitment process and they brought in players and now they're or the last window or two and they've brought in those players and now they're getting rid of them they don't want to be in that same situation again that's the problem will they be in that same situation again you know, because most of their players now are going to have to be from probably abroad, to be fair. And I don't think it's worked very well for them in the last number of years. Um, I suppose they've done well to keep Clark and McManus, to be honest. Uh, I think Clark will give them another year. McManus probably the same. So that's important for them. Um, do I see both challenge for Europe? Possibly not, if I'm honest, which as well. So that's another problem. Another year without Europe, potentially, as well. Declan Devine gets a lot of flack and has gotten a lot of flack. But the problem I have there, it's very difficult for any manager to work in the conditions that are laid out at Bowes, I think. If a director of football at the club in Pat Fenland that, from my knowledge, seems to control pretty much everything, if not everything, regarding players in, pretty much players out as well. That's a problem. I'm not sure if the communication between the manager and Fenland is great, to be honest. That's a problem. Um there's quite a few players that were brought to the club that I'm not going to name them. You can guess for yourself that Declan Devine didn't particularly want. I've been told personally that Devine gave Pat Fennan a list of players that she wanted to try and pursue um, this transfer window. And there wasn't even a discussion about it that allegedly Pat said no. If that's the case, if that's the case, then that's not a great way to, re you know what I mean? There could be a lot of reasons why players can't come to clubs, etc., etc. But if a manager gives you a list and you say no immediately, it's not great. Again, that's alleged. It just doesn't seem it's all hunky-dory behind the scenes on the football in the football department of the club, let's say. There's a lot of great work done at the club in terms of raising revenue. The club are in a stable position. Of course, they don't want to go back into a situation like they were about 10 years ago, 
obviously not. Um, so that has to be taken into account as well, doing a lot of good work around the community um, and a lot of good marketing strategies at the club, all that stuff, brilliant. Yeah, so Bohemians uh, had some technical issues there, lads. So yeah, in, in terms of Bohemians, all the stuff off the field is very, very good. Um, and as I said, club, they're obviously members club, etc. And, um, you know, nobody owns the club. There's no rich owner of the club, etc. They do have good finances, though, but that's that's you have to give them credit for that because they've built that up over time and the, the stadium coming along and stuff like that as well. But at the same time, you know, and it's kind of irrelevant, you know, you, you need need your manager and you need your director working in tandem, I think, in terms of players coming in on that. And, you know, quite a few of the players last year, I know, were definitely not Declan Devine signings. I don't think that works very well because um, what, no matter what manager you have at your football club, surely, and especially at this level, like this isn't like uh, Manchester United or Chelsea or Man City or whatever, you need, you need in the League of Ireland for that to work because it's hard to tell sometimes players especially from abroad are going to fit into the league of ireland and so yeah a lot of the players from you know abroad outside of britain i would say haven't worked very well in the league of ireland i don't know why i think it's a case of maybe they come in they just don't understand the league they think the league is weaker than they think and they're just gonna walk it essentially but i've seen it with a lot of clubs it doesn't work but it seems to me now bows get into this a state of a flux and then into the new year and now they have to go abroad to bring in players. It didn't work well last year at all. Um particularly with the Polish signings. It did not work well last year for them at all. And you know these weren't signings made by the manager. Also if you remember back last season Buckley came back to the club. And although Buckley a lot of Bulls fans would be happy that Buckley's back at the club. It's just the way it worked. It was like um everybody knew for months previous that Buckley was signing before a manager was even employed brought into the club and um you know i think divine was announced and i think then the next day buckley was announced and i mean they tried to make it look like you know the manager's brought into the club it's clear that wasn't the case so you know it's an aspect of bows that could cause problems going into the season i think and um, there's a couple of teams luckily for them that might be a bit weaker i think there's gonna be problems with dundalk as well huge problems with dundalk so be interesting to see what goes on there but let me know in the comments, Bowes fan or not. Let me know what you think um, of the situation. I don't know. I just think, you know, with, with Pat there, he's very hard to work with, apparently. I've been told he's very hard to work with. And it doesn't seem like him and Devine are necessarily on the same page. Um, will that cause problems on the pitch would be my question as well. Let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit your bell notification button, guys, as well, so you keep up with the latest videos. And we'll talk to you again.